talk, talking about the Most High in His Word. Y'all don't know no scripture. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of His sight. As for all His enemies, He puffeth them. Right. They, they ain't no justice in America. According to the Bible, according to the Bible, if a woman commits adultery, she's supposed to get put to death. That's a law in the Bible. But in America, if a woman commits adultery, she gets child support, alimony, the man gets locked up, okay? Why oh, they getting on the bus? You know, they couldn't wait to get out of there. They just blasted them. Got he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall ever be in adversity. His mouth is full of curses and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and madness. Yeah, that mischief and madness. When, when you say a man can marry a man and, and it's legal for a woman to commit adultery, that's mischief is madness. Mm -hmm. That's goddamn madness. Yes. How, how you gonna say a man well, can marry America. America? That's America. America. Babylon. Babylon. Hell. It's a Hades. Like the scriptures say, uh, death and hell gonna be cast into the lake of fire. Idumia. Idumia. Edom. Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. Sodom. So yeah, this is, America is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, man. Sodom and Gomorrah ain't got nothing on America. And what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Oof. It got turned to a pile of ashes. Oof. So what you think gonna happen to America? You think the Lord is playing games with you people? The Lord ain't playing no games. He gonna bring destruction. He gonna bring death and destruction. He gonna lay America desolate. That's what's gonna happen. What? I'm going back to it. What y'all thought the Lord wasn't real? <laughs> they gonna find out about the power of the Most High, bro. Acting like the Lord ain't real. Like the, like the Lord don't exist. Here it is, y'all ass walking around with the spirit He created, but you don't exist. You know what I'm saying? What's that scripture that says? Is, is, Pot, is the pot telling the potter? Uh, what's that? Uh, I can't yeah, but, uh, where is that, man? Hey, I know where it's at. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornications and going after strange flesh, are set for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. That's all you see is them of fornication out here, adultery. Homosexuality, thievery, ain't nothing but wickedness going on out here. So that's why the Lord gonna bring out fire. It's got to, it's got to happen. It got to happen. <laughs> that's the only solution. Yeah, promised. What's that Bob Marley song? Uh, Total destruction is the only solution. Something like that. That's the only solution. It's a promise to destroy this shit. I did. Uh, even your boy Hitler uh, had the final solution. <laughs> The most high got the final solution. It's called fire. Verse 7, back to Psalms 10 and 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking. <coughs> I can't see my phone though. My phone's gone. Fucking and everything. I know, it's just brutal. Um, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly with his mind. And it's funny too how to, how to, how to, how to just through the spirit, the mention of the poor people keep popping up today. You notice that? Because you see that's how they take advantage of all these poor people out here. And the poor people, they so ignorant, they, they don't even know what's going on. They have no idea why they're in the condition that they're in. You know what I'm saying? But that's what, just bad luck. Right, just bad luck, right? 
even hit the lottery yet. You know? That's why we supposed to be a voice for the poor people. Cause they ain't got no voice. You talking about you know, the House of Represent? Y'all ain't got no representatives. You know what I'm saying? You know the House of Representatives. <laughs> you got your elected officials. <laughs> you know, I can't give a fuck about elected officials. Yes, exactly. Selected officials. <laughs> When's the last time you seen them in your hood? You know? Oh, uh, never. That's the last place they gonna go. <laughs> right, right. Your elected officials. Yeah, yeah. And it be niggas too. Damn. Man, Man. Oh shit! I just seen it. I just seen it. I was watching. A, I was watching YouTube. And no, no, it wasn't. I, I was watching something. But I was watching uh, some local politics, right? And I forget what these clowns was running for. Some kind of position in that house over there, in that state house. But, but it was all changed. It was all talking about black people. And he was saying, and, and, and his his main running point to get him elected was like, we're gonna get more cops. And we're gonna get more firemen. But what kind of what kind of so-called black person gonna ask for more cops? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Who the hell wants more cops? Ain't there enough? You see one in every goddamn corner. He's saying we're gonna get more cops. We need more cops. He said we gotta keep the neighborhood safe. That's gonna make them more. The only reason the neighborhoods is dangerous. You worry about the cops. What law are they following? They ain't the law to buy them. Hell no. You know? They ain't gonna arrest no faggot. That's the unjust That's the unjust Yeah, it's the laws of the unjust. The law of Satan. They pull you over for uh steal from their rock yeah, boy that does when they down low. Yeah, yeah. Down low hoes. Yeah. Running around the motherfucker. Yeah, that's a popular thing. Law and law is just a rest of the way after the same thing either. We got laws protection now for that shit. Those are the laws now that are Oh, I know where that one scripture is. I, I don't remember. So, for their mercy's sake. Not, you know, not because of us being so righteous, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, we, we pretty much, yeah, we bow down to the dirt, man. We in a low state right now. We in a very low state, a pitiful state. I hate to see it go lower, man. I hate to see it go even lower than what it is, man. Because I never thought it shit the worst is like in the 90s, man. I never thought it was like this, man. I thought it was bad in the 90s, man. You know how the games were popping then? Games was, games was flourishing back then, man. Oh, that shit was, the thug life shit yeah. was popping. I never imagined this now. Never. Lord, oh, have we been wicked to some shit? There's a whole new level of wickedness we're dealing with now, man. Just Because it's, it's a whole new level of retardation. You know what I mean? It's the stupidity levels. You, that, that was that vibration back in the, you know, fuck the police and all that. The, that's what I'm all the, because yeah. it's the time of uh, beavers and bloodhead. They was, they was, they was, they was, they was a uh, anti-authoritarian right, kind of. Right, right, right. And that now people like that, that Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome increased. They knew how to get Jake, man. They knew how to get Jake, and that's all of Jake. Jake the scatters, man. They like, knew how to get all of Jake. Man. Like, like all the rap music used to be kind of, <laughs> it used to be kind of good. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was positive. Well, more positive. But it was more talking about you know, like anti-authoritarian messages. You know what I mean? That, and now, now all the rap is like some garbled gibberish. You don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Literally, you don't know what the fuck. Literally, too. Shit, like this whole the whole song is about 
culture bitch, uh, I make money from the shit, and literally every single, like, every fucking song, like, literally, like, what the fuck? They rap, yeah, that's all they rap out. Adultery, sipping on they lean and codeine, with a fomedazine or whatever that shit's called. What's that shit called? Is that what it's called? Fomedazine or something? I don't forget what it's called. That they, lean. You think some uh, motherfucker get tired of music because they literally talk about the same thing in every single song. Every song. Like, you think she get bored of my shit? That used to be the thing. I remember back in the 90s, the thing was, it was like to see who had the best vocabulary rap. Who, you know, came with the most original shit, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but now ain't nobody got no vocabulary. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yo, niggas, I thought y'all had a show. What's up, bitch, though, Sipping on that lean dough. Yeah, they come over there all new words, you know. Like Draco. You know when they say something to rap and rhyme with Draco. Yeah. Did you just say Draco? <laughs> uh, that's a new word. We're gonna use that one from here on out. Draco. Draco. Yeah, that's how they do it. I your girl. You gonna leave my girl like that? Uh, I'll give you a ride home. Shit. <laughs> oh no, she's a little too young. Run, Go to jail. Oh, hell. Oh. What's they call it? The harsh shit? Ah. He lost him way sick. He lost him way to catch the four. He does catch the four when he draws him into his net. He crouches, he bumbles, and he tells him that the four, that the four may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart. He yeah, the, yeah the, the strong ones, that, yeah. nowadays the strong ones, that's the cops. Yeah, the cops. The they send people up. What are you saying? They send people up. What they send their people to the side. They trap them. They trap them. And, so the and the cops are just... Uh, they fall for it. They're in trip. You know what I mean? And with the... you on the corner with that bag. You know what I'm saying? They got the cameras watching there. Somebody's sitting yeah. You know how they do it. They get 10 niggas that night. And the cops, don't ever talk to cops either. The cops ever want to arrest you or something, don't say shit to you. They always gonna try to get you to confess to something. Don't ever say shit to them. They ask them what you got me for. They always trying to catch you slipping, man. He lies away secretly as a lion in his den. He lies and waits to catch the four. He does catch the four. And he draws him into his net. He crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. But he has said in his heart, the most high have forgot, he hideth his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord. Oh, that, is, that is how Esau think the most high if you don't see that. Yep. He thinking this shit gonna go on forever and ever, you know what I mean? Lift up thy hand and forget not the Lord. Wherefore doth the wicked contempt the most high. He has said in his heart, thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite. To require it with thy hand, the poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. The helper of the fatherless. <laughs> The fatherless. And now, what they was probably fatherless for different reasons back then. You know what I mean? But nowadays, why do you think everybody got no father out here? Oh, shit. That's it for me. We might as well call it a rap soon anyway. I think we took enough punishment. <laughs> got a beating today. That never was a beating. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Straight up beating, man. You got anything else you want to bring up? Alright. Wow. Isaiah 64 and 1. Oh, that thou wouldest rent the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melted fire burneth, the fire causes the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. Yeah, that's why we be making the name of the Lord known by coming out here on the highways and byways. We make it known to our adversaries, you know what I'm saying? That's why we was out here, uh, hey, cursing the cops out. What's this? Go ahead. This is verse three. When thou didst terrible things, which we look not for, that camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. As if in the world men hurt, have not heard, nor perceived by the ear.
imagination. We can't even describe it. No, you can't. You don't. You think you know, but you don't know. We don't know. We ain't too sure. Meetest him that rejoiceth in work and righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold, thou prophet. We have sinned in those in, 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 in those is continuance, and we shall be saved. That's more. But we are all as unclean thing, and all of our uh, and all of our righteousness are as a filthy rags. Oh yeah. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Yeah, that's what Paul quoted in uh, Romans seven. Said we all like filthy rags. And he's is that no that the Paul quote that one? Something like that. And he says pretty much the same thing, the same type of deal. But yeah, we like all filthy rags out here, man. Dude. That's why that's why you gotta pray every day. I got one right here. All right, then we, we finna get out of here. I right, bid y'all peace and farewell. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Shalom. Death to Babylon. Death to Babylon. Death to the black woman. <laughs> I don't hate nobody. I ain't wasting death on nobody. <laughs> death to the black woman. Actually, y'all can take a walk with us. We're going to keep walking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want to forget that. Oh, shit. Hey, hold that for a second. It's still going. Babylon is no joke. You can just see all this madness. Oh, <laughs> he got it more than anybody. Hey, I'll turn this shit off. All right, y'all, peace.